Hi everybody, my name is Jean. I teach to yoga at UFIT. Um, Josh has asked me to put together a short yoga class for you as members. So it will give you some, uh, some flexibility and some focus during these difficult times. So first of all, we're just going to start with some activations. So I'd like you to just shake out the legs. Feel the legs shaking from the hips, flicking out through the toes, and then standing on one leg. Just then shake out the other leg, moving it around. Place that foot on the floor and shake out the other leg. Just gently, nothing's going to be too difficult, nothing's going to be too strong. We're really just wanting to keep the body active. Place that foot down on the floor, shake out both legs again, alternate, and then let the arms start to shake. Back to front, shaking out the fingers, the wrists, the elbows, come up to shoulders. Arms up nice and gently, just shaking out and out to the side. Feel the arms shaking out, releasing into the shoulders and allow the arms to come down. Step your feet out a little bit wider and just twist from side to side. As you twist, keep the arms nice and soft. Let the front arm wrap around your body, the abdomen and your back arm, let it tap at your kidneys, giving those kidneys a nice gentle massage as you twist from side to side and as you twist lift onto your toes with your back foot lifting your heel off the floor allowing your hips to twist all the way round. Nice and gentle Breathing in, breathing out as you do. Try and breathe in and out through the nose. And then let your arms come up to shoulder height. Tap one shoulder, tap the opposite kidney. And then bring your arms up above your head, allowing the arms to gently sway from side to side. Hello Cleo, that's my cat coming to help us. Probably she wants to go out, she'll have to wait. So let your arms flow above your head and then start to bring them down. Feel the movements flowing from side to side. When you bring your arms down, bend your knees and slowly let the arms Relax down as you sway from side to side, just swinging the arms and slowly come back up again. And as you come to standing, lift the knees, opposite knee to hand and just gently tap. Keep the feet nice and flat on the floor. I'm not using my mat because it rolls up and it can uh, make ridges so if you find the same you might find it's easier just to use your carpet you can lift the knees to the elbows if you want more of a workout to start with but keep it at hands to knees place your feet on the floor hands on hips and gently circle round Try to make a really distinct circle, taking it a little bit wider and then go in the opposite direction. Nice and gentle, nothing's going to be too strenuous today, just getting the body nice and moving, nice and soft. And bringing the feet back together a little bit, take the hands so that the palms face each other. 
and take the arms all around in a nice figure of eight. Just feel how that figure of eight movement is moving your body. Let the hands and your body move wherever it feels it needs to go today. <clears throat> Up above your head, to the sides, down to the ground, behind you. Just allow a bit of free movement just to come in. Moving your feet on the floor or your mat if you wish to. And then bring your feet back, flat hip width, keeping the body still, let your arms slowly, just make that figure of eight in front of your chest, slowing it down, feeling the ball of light in your hands. Slowing those hand movements right down. And allow your hands then to face each other. Fingertips and palms facing. Let your eyes rest between your hands. And on your next in breath, separate the fingers and the arms, bring them down to your side. Let the palms face forwards and let the fingers face downwards towards the ground. Just allow your body to stand for a moment. Giving the arms and the legs a gentle shake. We're going to work now what we call an energy block release. We're going to just keep it as a standing posture for today's session. We're just going to keep the body nice and flexible. So first of all, you're going to stand with your feet, roughly hip width apart. If you want to check, you can place the heel of one foot to the instep of the other, and then turn the feet so that the sides of the feet are parallel and the toes are pointing away from you. Feel the feet on the floor, be aware of the toes and the heels. Give the legs a nice shake so you can feel the muscles moving around the bones in the legs. Be aware of your hips. Think now about the abdomen, pulling the abdominal muscles, clench the buttocks together. Lift up through your pelvic floor so you can feel that nice supporting band around your middle. When you feel that, lift your sternum. Feel the ribs coming away from your internal organs, giving a nice stretch to the middle area of your body. And then lift and roll each shoulder back. Don't pull the shoulders together. Allow the arms to relax down. Shoulders relaxed, chin parallel to the ground. Eyes looking straight ahead. If you wish you can close your eyes as you stand in the mountain pose or you can keep the eyes open. If you need your eyes open then look as far ahead as you can and then just take the eyes to the ground making sure that your chin doesn't come down. The eyes look straight ahead or allow your eyes to close and just stand in the mountain pose just for a moment or two. Just be aware of your body as it stands, feeling the balance from left and right, top to bottom. Be aware of where your hands are. Be aware of where your fingers are. And then we begin the sequence by gently rocking backwards and forwards on the feet. So your feet stay on the floor you take the weight to your toes and back again to your heels. Just gently moving forward and back. Just 
breathe gently in and out through the nose. And then bring yourself back to the mountain pose again. And now you're going over to the right side and over to the left side. Like a pendulum as you swing from side to side. Feet again stay on the floor. So you go all the way over to the outside edge of your right foot and the outside edge of your left foot. And then bring yourself once again back to centre. Now we're going round in a circle. So taking your weight to your toes from the outside edge of your right foot, heels outside edge of your left foot and back to your toes again. And nice and gentle as you sway all the way round. Just be aware of your body as it circles. And then as you bring your weight to your toes, we take that movement in reverse because we always do all the yoga postures both ways, keeping our body nicely balanced. When you come to the toes, bring your body back to centre again and just pause for a second or two, standing once again in the mountain pose, feeling your body completely balanced. And we're going into a side bend, so bring your right hand in front of your body, palm facing upwards, and your left hand comes about eye level with your palm facing down. And as you breathe in, you're going to lift up, feel the spine extending, and as you breathe out, just gently bend to your right. Keep the left elbow nicely raised so you get that nice stretch on the left side and then breathe in back to centre. And as you breathe out, swap the hands over. But this time you've got your left hand underneath and your right hand on top. Breathe in and lift. And on the out breath, go over to the left side. We're going to do that once more to both sides. So breathe in as you come up, breathe out, swap hands over. Breathe in, lift, breathe out as you go over to the right. Breathe in as you come up, breathe out, swap the hands over, breathe in and go all the way over to the left. And feel how that stretch feels on your right side of your body. Breathe in as you lift up and on the out breath, bring the arms down. And again, just stand for a moment. Feel the arms relaxing down to your sides. The next move is a full body stretch. So bring your arms up to shoulder height, bend the elbows, palms face behind you, arms and elbows nice and soft. And as you breathe in, allow the arms to rise up, feel the whole body stretching. And if you can, and you wish to, you can come onto the toes. But if you want to stay on your feet, that's fine. And as you breathe out, bring the arms down. Just gently soften the legs. And then as you breathe in again, let those arms come up once again. Breathing out as you come down. A couple more times, breathe in. And out. Last one. Breathe in. And out. And then allow the arms to come to shoulder height. Palms facing downwards towards the floor. Keep those arms nice and soft. We're really going to get rid of some tension in the shoulders. You're going to breathe in. Draw the arms into your shoulders. And on the out breath, flick away. Dip the knees as you do so. Breathing in. And as you breathe out, if you like, with this move, you can breathe out through the mouth. Really feeling the breath flowing away. A couple more, breathe in, breathe in, and out. And then allow your arms once again to come down by your sides. 
We're still working some shoulder movements now. So what I want you to do is gently let your right arm twist away towards the front. Let the back arm lift up at the back, palm facing upwards. Look down your right hand and then twist to the left and look down your left hand and let the right arm face upwards and then twist and keep that twisting movement going. Try not to lean over, try to keep your body nice and upright and work those shoulders. Let the front arm push away, but be aware of your back hand and that it doesn't drop. Try and keep it up as high as is possible. Look towards the hand in front of you. Really feel the tension flowing away. Nice and gentle as you twist from side to side. This really releases tension from the back of the neck and the tops of the shoulders. Keeping the twisting movement going, let the arms come down towards the floor and feel the twisting finishing with your arms close towards your body and then bring your arms down. Give them a shake if you feel you need to. As you stand once again in the mountain pose, refresh your feet at hip width, abdomen nicely contracted. And I'd like you now to place your hands on your shoulders and feel the fingers around your shoulder joints. Breathing in, you're going to lift the elbows up and take the elbows nicely round in a circle. Lifting up and out, lifting up and out. Really feel those shoulders moving under your fingers. Feel the shoulder muscles. Next time you bring the elbows down, we're going to take them round in the opposite direction. Really feeling the shoulders and those shoulder muscles nicely moving round. Nice and gentle breathing in breathing out and then let the arms gently come down to your side standing once again in the mountain pose just take a moment here just allow your body to stand you can close your eyes shoulders relaxed just feel your breathing flowing throughout your body as you gently stand in the mountain pose. We're now going to work some movements in the head and the neck. So I'd like you to bring your chin down towards your chest and feel the weight of your head. Just pulling the chin. And then I'd like you to roll your chin towards your right shoulder and let the chin just rise so that your eyes look straight ahead. Then bring the chin down towards your right shoulder and allow it to roll across to the left. And the eyes come up and the chin is parallel once again. We'll do that once more to both sides. So imagine you have a little ball under your chin, you're rolling from side to side and bringing it up and then rolling it back all the way across and allowing it to come up to the left side and then roll it back down and this time pull the chin back towards the throat and allow the chin to come back up again so it's nicely parallel to the floor. Next time you breathe in feel your breath going into your body and as you breathe out Take your right ear to your right shoulder. Feel that gentle stretch on your left side of your neck. And then breathe in back to centre, bring your head up and on the out breath. Take the left ear to the left shoulder. Let's do that once more to both sides, breathe in and on the out breath, take it over to the right. Breathe in back to centre and on the out breath go over to the left. Next 
fifth time you breathe in, bring the head up again to centre and as you breathe out, turn your head to your right side. Breathe in back to centre and on the out breath, turn it to the, to the left side. Breathe in back to centre, again turning your head as you breathe out to the right. Breathe in back to centre and last time turn your head to the left. Breathing in back to centre, standing once again in your mountain pose, checking that all your joints are nice and soft, abdomen nicely contracted, nice and gently standing, allowing the shoulders to relax. We're now going to work some twists, so I want you to bring your arms up in front of you, palms facing forward, shoulders and elbows nice and soft. Make sure you've got room behind you to twist. So keeping the body nice and soft, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, I want you to twist to the right. Keep your feet nicely on the floor. As you turn to the right, place your left hand on your right shoulder. And as you breathe out, turn your head to look towards your left hand your right hand, sorry. So you've got your left hand on your right shoulder and your right hand is nicely raised. Then bring the hands back together and then twist back to the front. Take another breath in and as you breathe out, turn to your left this time. This time placing the right hand on your left shoulder and look towards your left hand. Bring the hands back together and then twist back to the front. Step the feet out just a little bit. We're going to go into our second stage of this movement. This time, breathe in and as you breathe out and you start to twist to the right, lift onto the toes of the left foot. Your hips will twist a little bit further round. Place your left hand on your right shoulder and look to your right hand. Then the hands come back together and twisting back to the front. And we go to the opposite side, breathe in and breathe out. Lifting onto the toes of the right foot this time. Left hand goes to your right hand goes to your left shoulder and you look to that left hand. Hands come back together and then twist back to the front. Keep the feet where they are. We're going to go into our third stage. So I want you to turn your right foot to 90 degrees. Breathe in and as you breathe out, this time coming onto the toes of your left foot, twist all the way round. Left hand goes to right shoulder, right hand goes onto your lower back and you twist the head to look towards your right shoulder. Giving the support at the lower back, hips twisting all the way round. Then bring your hands back to the starting position as you come all the way back to centre. Then we do the same to the opposite side. So turn your left foot, breathing out as you twist round, lifting onto the toes of your left foot, right hand to your left shoulder, left hand in your lower back and twist. Really feel that hand on your spine and as you breathe in, lift the crown of the head and then bring the hands back together and then twist all the way back. Now I want you to bring your feet back together, hip width, and we're going into a backward and forward bend. So I'll turn round to the side, you're going to place your hands on your hips with your fingers pointing downwards towards the floor. You need to keep the hips nice and straight, so try not to push the hips forward. As you breathe in, you're going to open the front of your body. So as you breathe in and push down, lift the sternum, keep the chin, Nicely parallel, don't look up towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, push the hips back, let the chin come down, tuck the head under, and then breathe in as you come up. All the way up into another back bend and hinge forwards. Really feel the back opening up as you come up. That's it. 
really feel it this time as you come all the way down let the arms come downwards i'm going to turn round again to the front so you can see let the hands come down towards the floor and step the feet out and i want you to gently just sway from foot to foot feel the body swaying and then you're going to turn your right foot to 90 degrees alter your left foot into a diagonal position and let the hands rest on your outstretched right leg let the head relax make sure both legs are nice and straight don't have the front knee bent if the front knee bends and place the hands just gently above your knee and relax the chest downwards towards the thigh and we're going round to the other side so you can use the floor to support you turning the left foot to 90 degrees hands on that front leg again check your knees just make sure the chest is traveling downwards towards the thigh and then you're going to bring your feet back to center and you're going to come down into a squat let the fingers be on the ground just to support you and allow the arms to come up find something that's not moving so you can focus place the hands on the floor push your bottom into the air relax the head down and then come down into a squat do a couple more of these breathing in as you come up stretching out those hamstrings and allow the arms to rise focusing whoops my balance is a bit suspect today hands on the ground we're coming all the way up to the top so breathing in push the hips up and really bend those knees let the arms relax and slowly uncurl straightening the legs as you come all the way up shoulders relaxed arms by your side and just allow your body to stand in your mountain pose give the legs a bit of a shake chin parallel to the ground eyes looking straight ahead close your eyes if you wish just stand there for a moment just feel your body you've moved all the major joints and the major muscles So just take notice of how your body feels. I'm going to do a very, very short relaxation. So you can either lie down on the floor or you can sit on a chair or you can sit cross-legged. It's entirely up to you. If you want to lie down, then lie down on your back. I don't think I can demonstrate very well in this position but i'll lie down the legs go out stretched arms go out stretched sorry or, i don't know that or you can sit with the legs crossed so if you get yourself into position we'll just do a short relaxation so from wherever you're sitting or lying just focus on your breath breathing in breathing out feel the abdomen rising and falling feel the back of the body if you're lying down against the earth you're sitting be aware of your feet on the floor your bottom on a chair relaxing into the shoulders and the head take a breath in whether you're lying down or sitting and just raise the chin a little and as you breathe out just gently Pull it downwards towards the chest, elongating all those muscles in the back of the neck. Focusing 
centrally on the breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Become aware now of your arms. And as you breathe in, I want you to make a fist with your hands. And on your out breath, just relax. Feel the arms and the hands softening. Imagining the tension flowing from the shoulders all the way down to the tips of the fingers. And then I'd like you to take your awareness to your legs and your feet. And as you breathe in, I'd like you to tighten all the muscles in the legs and the feet, really holding the tightness. Feel the tension in the muscles. And as you breathe out, allow those muscles in the legs to relax. Really feeling the tension flowing from the hips all the way down to the tips of the toes. And then becoming aware of your torso. Feel the back of the body and be aware of the front of your body. And take your awareness to your abdomen and your lower back. And as you breathe in, pull the abdomen towards your spine and pull the lower back muscles in, contracting the whole of the abdominal cavity, really pulling together. And imagine that tightness coming all the way up the whole of your torso past your ribs, your sternum, your shoulder blades, collarbones, right to the tops of your shoulders. And as you breathe out, gently relax. And let's do that once more to the torso. So breathing in, pulling those abdominal muscles in, tightening into the lower back and pulling the tension all the way up, tightening all those muscles in between the ribs, supporting the spine. And as you breathe out, softly and slowly relax. Really feeling all the tension flowing away. become aware of your head and your face and as you breathe in tighten all the muscles in the face and the head and the neck think about the muscles around the eyes and the forehead the scalp the cheeks the jaw the mouth first the lips together tightening the muscles in the neck the throat sides of the head around your ears, really feeling all the muscles in the head and the face, the neck and the throat as tight as you can. And on the out breath, just relax. Feel that tension flowing away. Doing that once more, breathing in, tightening around the eyes and the cheeks, the jaw, the mouth, this time, instead of pursing the lips together, open the mouth really wide and extend your tongue into the air as far away as it can go. And on the out breath, relax it down. Just allowing the body 
Breathing in and breathing out. And as our session comes to a close, we start to take deeper in breaths, feeling the body reawakening. Giving the hands a shake, giving the legs a shake, feet a shake. Allow your body to reawaken. If you're lying down, turn yourself over onto your right hand side. And then come to a comfortable seated position. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm sure I shall see you all again soon hope you enjoyed that session i'll get some more sessions sorted out we'll do a few more things so keep yourselves safe and healthy and i look forward to seeing you soon thank you